Hey guys. Thank you very much. Better. Hey guys, welcome to Silicon Valley Girl. And Silicon Valley Girl is going to Boston today. And I am flying. This is considered the best business class in the United States. And yeah, I'm taking you on this trip. You're gonna see what I'm gonna do in Boston. You're gonna fly with me together. Interested? Watch this vlog. So we were greeted. Oh, signature refreshment. Thank you. We were greeted with a small tour of our seat, which is super functional. It even has a massage. Like first time in my life, massage on the airplane. We've got a drink. Oh, we've got a menu. Everything is American. This is done by a designer in Hollywood. When I traveled, when I was 14 and 15. That was like the whole experience was just awesome for me. I didn't mind going on a sleep train uh, with no doors and you know smelly people around because the trip lasted for 36 hours. I didn't mind flying economy, whatever. But because I travel twice a month to different destinations, now it's more of a work than experience, and flying business class definitely adds something to look forward to, like trying cool meals trying beautiful seats and this is considered the best class the Casey Neistat reviewed um, this JetBlue flight and he said this is the best business class I was like okay we have to get on it we have to try it out they've got everything in the seat for people like me who keep losing stuff like for the phone I can put it in here there's a special button if I press it and when it's blue uh, they are allowed to wake me up for my food. It's gonna be actually a five hour flight. Uh, so yeah, let's go. Free Wi-Fi. 
trying to speed provided by Amazon. <laughs> it's actually speeding up. Okay, starting with a dip, minty. Under five? Yeah. Three point seven. What? No. I think it's five. I think it's so good for an airplane. For mm. airplane, airplane food. Yeah. yeah, it's really good. Why is she wearing a mask? I'm Batman. tell you the story. Uh, back in 2013, I first came to the United States. We flew from uh, Moscow, Russia to New York and we had a layover in New York and then we flew to Miami with JetBlue. And th this airline is the, well, this is actually the first thing I've tried in the United States in terms of food because they gave it out and I fell in love with it. If you haven't tried it, it's like um, chips but made of corn. So whatever. Um, we had four during this flight. Uh, we got to, to take back home and we drank 10 drinks that they provide with like mint something and we've got some syrup to make it at home. <laughs> um, the flight was really really good. Uh, I worked, uh, we made the deck, uh, I went through my Trello and Trello board is something I use to manage my tasks uh, within LinguaTrip and I also have a separate board for YouTube and I also have a separate board with my personal assistant. What else have I done? Oh, read the script for tomorrow because I'm doing a lot of videos in Harvard. Tonight when I come I need to do some more banking and then off to sleep and then shooting tomorrow. Just something to take home. And if you're traveling alone, you can get a whole suit. Has a door. Way more. My first thought when we landed, I want to fly again. When is my next flight? It's actually in two days, um, but I'm looking forward to it. This was like an awesome experience. Just my bags. Uh, Dima, I need help. <laughs> it's just a 17 minute drive to my hotel. Welcome to the East Coast. I'm full of energy. Um, I know though where this energy is gonna go because yeah financials financials uh, But then yeah, I'm so excited about tomorrow. Hopefully I'm not jet lagged I think it's just a two-hour difference in summer so that should be fine. We're gonna order some food to eat in the hotel and I have to work. So the thing is, there are a couple of things that I cannot delegate in the company and one of them is finance. <laughs> That's why um, I have to work. 